Hey, how's it going? Waste of Central 616, back again. Hey, um, um, okay, uh, Tony99 Able has brought to my attention that there's gonna be a Batman Year One animated movie. Um, hey, good news. Uh, that's, that's good stuff. Um, what are my thoughts? Oh, well, okay. Instantly it comes to mind, uh, Kevin, uh, what's his name, Kevin Conroy, I think that's it. The, the voice from the original Batman animated series needs to do Batman, um, he is Batman, um, so he needs to do the voice for it. Um, what else, um, hey, one big thing about Batman Year One is it is a, it's not just a story about uh, Bruce Wayne becoming Batman, it's about the rise of Commissioner Gordon, so they need to keep that in the story as well. It's it's a parallel story between the two characters. Um, this is very very important that it accumulates in the end with um, Batman saving Commissioner Gordon's son. Um, as animated styles go, hey, it doesn't really matter. Maybe they'll keep it similar to the original. Um, Comic book, I forget the, the artist's name, you know. Uh, um, you know, obviously, you know, Frank Miller did the script, I just got it somewhere. Ugh, unorganized as usual. But, um, yeah, I mean, hey, DC have been um, doing a good job with the animated movies I saw Under the Hood uh, recently. Um, Man, I can't remember who it was, but someone got it on YouTube really quick, and uh, yeah, I managed to watch it. The day it came out on DVD or something, oh, it's brilliant. Um, that was great. Um, oh, yeah, that was good. Uh, the bit with the Joker, where he uh, kills loads of the uh, Black Hoods. Black Hood? Black Face? Black Face? What am I thinking? Sorry, man, I had a very heavy night. Um, Black mask henchman. That was very good. Anyway, Batman Year One. Um, keep it, keep it to the story. Don't throw any super villain in, in there. It's Batman versus the mob. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it as long as I keep uh, Kevin. Oh, I forget his name. Kevin Conroy. Is it Kevin Conroy? Kevin something. Uh, yeah, as long as they have him doing the voice, keep to the script. Um, I'll be happy. You know. Um, uh, and showing Batman as, even though it's in his younger days, don't make him too, uh, don't have him make too many mistakes. I mean, he fucks up a little bit in the comics, but, um, because he's learning, but, uh, you know, we need to see an intelligent, confident Batman. Um, and that just made me think, I just want to throw a little thought in, yeah? Okay, we all enjoyed the Dark Knight, yeah, okay? But, I mean, you know, um, you know, Christian Nolan does a good job. Um, but yeah, Christian Bale's Batman, not good. You know, I was I was actually hugely disappointed um, with Christian Bale. You know, if you if you watch something like American Psycho, he's brilliant in that. But his Batman, you know, I mean, maybe he did, uh, maybe he didn't have a lot to work with, but um, his growling voice and it's we need. To, if they do a live action Batman, we need to see an intelligent Batman. He's supposed to be like one of the cleverest guys, he, the cleverest guy in the DC universe, or one of them anyway. You know, um, I always thought that Batman sort of had a, you know, you sort of consider him really to have like a form like a photographic uh, memory. He invents stuff, he, may, he speaks multiple languages, no multiple fighting skills. He's the epitome of human achievement. And you never get that in, in, in movies, you know. Um, it's probably because Hollywood thinks that, oh, we can't relate to him, you know. No, you see, we're not supposed to relate to him, we're supposed to admire him. So, um, you know, hey, carry on with the good animated movies, but when you do a live action Batman movie, man, I, I have yet to see the Batman live action movie I've wanted. Hey, I love the Dark Knight, but it wasn't, you know, it was, it was driven by the Joker, really, you know. Um, and any scene that didn't have him in it really suffered, I found. But um, there we go. That's my thoughts. And I uh, kind of went off the subject a little bit. But um, cheers to Toby99 Laball uh, for bringing that to my attention. And uh, I'm sure as soon as that comes out, I'll try and watch it on the internet and not buy it <laughs> on DVD because I'm a cheap bastard. So there we go. Um, 
Yeah. Also looking forward to that ba- uh, Batman, Superman, uh, Supergirl thing, but pff, I don't know, Supergirl. Mm, but I'll give it a go. Um, and hey, uh, as for comic book movies, hey, we've got um, Captain America, Thor. Thor looks, doesn't look, I don't know how they're going to pull Thor off, but so far, hey, looks pretty good so far, you know. And, uh, and then Captain America, and then the Avengers, so hey, we'll see how that goes. Uh, maybe a new renaissance in comic book movies, and then they can do a good, uh, really good Batman one. Anyway, um, I don't know when I'm going to be back with comic reviews, or, oh, I just don't know when I can get up to the comic shops, I mean, it's a good guy now, I suppose. I've got, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'd rather lay around and uh, be slothful. Uh, anyway, no one cares about that. And, uh, yeah. Wow, are my videos great? No wonder I get so many views. <laughs> anyway, ta da. Whoever's watching, look after yourselves. Bye. <laughs>